our successful wrestling parents have this one trait in common. Nothing even comes close. Here it is. They know how to pull the trigger. Some parents I have, I had one just called again today. I'm like, bro, you've joined and quit our room like six times. And I'm like, kind of like, just tell them I don't want them anymore. Oh, well, the workout partners, we just want to make sure the workout partners are good this time. And I'm like, they're never going to be good. I'm like, sometimes the workout partner's too heavy. Oh, now they're too light. They're an inch too tall, an inch too short. Oh, they're a little too fast for me. Oh, they're not quite fast enough. Oh, they're a little bit too powerful. Do you have a weaker one? Oh, I got a weak partner. He's a little bit too weak. I'm not driving in paying for that. I'm going to quit again for seven months. I'm going to call back in eight months and see if the magical secret perfect workout partner is there. I'm like, dude, just... I just said don't come back. I just don't... You don't... I didn't say this, but you as a parent don't have what it takes. Just quit. Tell your kids to quit. Just quit. You're never going to do it. Dude, you're never going to have a perfect workout partner, guys. Just quit worrying about it. Josh McClure. I thought about getting a big picture of the McClure family blown up in an 8 by 12 and just putting it on a billboard outside my gym. They had it figured out. They just kept showing up. One time I was like, hey, you, know, you don't have any workout partners but one. And, you know, it's one that you're going to destroy. Josh is like, I don't care, Nick. Years ago, you said if I have to wrestle a chair, wrestle a chair. He's like, if uh, I won't mention this kid's name because he's my buddy. He's a good kid. He was just not at that level yet. He's like, if so-and-so, uh, if I get tired of wrestling so-and-so, I'll grab a chair. Love that. Josh McClure went on to win some state titles, nationally ranked. I guess he was fourth in senior nationals. Wrestled at the University of North Carolina for all those Oakey State guys that are coaching there now. And Josh McClure, and his dad's that way too. Dad was getting a second master's degree, would drive from central Missouri to um, southern Missouri, seven hours round trip every day for work. Then he would jump in the car, drive three hours round trip to my practices and study. I mean, his dad was a freaking savage, right? But the dude had a had the skill of pulling the trigger. So I would say, pull the trigger. Dude, sign up. And if you don't sign up for us, sign up somewhere else. Who cares? Just sign up. You know, I nonstop. Oh, I wish we had joined two years earlier. I can't believe I'm kicking myself. My wife's so mad. We're getting so much better now. We should have done this. <laughs> I'm like, I told you, right? The... You, you got to go. Hey, the weight set's on sale. Well, now let's just wait here. Ooh. Let's calm down now. Oh. I'm not sure that's the perfect weight set. Buy the freaking weight set. Throw it in the basement and start kicking ass. Just pull the trigger. There's a tournament. Hey, we're going to a tournament. I've never wrestled Greco before. I don't give a shit. We're getting ready to, to, to do it. High five. Let's go. Boom. That's called pulling the trigger. Sign up and go. Do it. Get after it. Jump off the couch. Go run that big hill. All right, I got to start running. I'm going to turn back around. Post this video. i going to sprint this thing. Just go. Pull the trigger. Quit beating around the bush. It's like Grant Cardone says. My wife's an actress. And she's like, well, back in the day. I don't know if that... If I'm a, I may try to get that uh, acting position, but I'm not sure it's good for me. He's like, bro, chick, you're not, you, you know, you're not Jennifer Aniston. Go, go get the acting gig. You can figure the rest out later, right? Heck, sign up, go pull the trigger and quit talking yourself out of it or just say, I'm not doing it. That's even awesome. That's awesome. Then I won't have some of these calls I get. Dude, just quit. Just quit for good and just quit. Or say, we are not doing that. We will not be getting a Gold's Gym membership. They just opened up. We're not doing it. Boom. That's just as powerful as saying we are doing it. But the wishy-washy is just not working. My parents who have had success, 
successful athletes, they freaking pull the trigger and they go and they sign up and they go and they do it and then they keep doing it and then they keep doing it and then they go and their kids learn to pull the trigger. I started my deal years ago, uh, some teacher, good friend of mine still. Do you have a business plan? Hell no, I don't have a business plan. I'm just gonna freaking make it work. The whole business plan, I'm, I think that's stupid too at some point in time. I'm getting distracted, but dude, just freaking go. Let's go. And I would say, if you teach your kids, oh, let's just evaluate this partner situation for three years and decide. Oh, let's double, triple check of the weight equipment is perfect. And uh, let's not do this. Let's just calm down. We're getting a little bit out of control here. No. Sign up, go to camp, get the weightlifting equipment, buy the new wrestling shoes, get the personal trainer, hire the college kid to beat the shit out of your high school wrestler. Let's just go. That's the character trait. Good luck.